Hi, you guys, and welcome to Beyond Butterfly Transformation Society. Thank you guys for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. So um, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to these videos. Um, also, too, um, I'm taking personal readings. Um, I, if you want to go ahead and check out the description box below, um, then you will find out um, how to contact me. So thank you so much. Um, let's see. So what I'm going to be doing tonight is just life journey messages. You know, 2020 is right around the corner. So I just want to see what we have coming up here, for, you know, and give you some guidance too as well. So the next sign that I was moved to do is for um, Capricorn. So I'm going to be doing Capricorn video. And um, let's see what comes out. So I do want to take this time first to invite oh, Archangel Michael, Jehovah God, my guardian angels, yes, and my ancestors. Please give me the messages that I need to convey to the collective of Capricorn. All right, you guys, we're ready. So let's go ahead and get four Black Moon Astrology cards for you. Four Black Moon Astrology cards for Capricorn, please and thank you. Whoa, okay. So we had four fall out. So actually five fall out. <laughs> oh, you know, I ask for one thing and I get more than what I ask for. Facts. <laughs> so for Capricorn, we have... Um, uh, you know, uh, the sixth house routine. So this speaks of your daily routine, what you do every day. You know, this also speaks to Virgo, the sign of Virgo. And, you know, Virgos are known for, um, you know, being detail oriented. You know, uh, this also speaks to discernment, you know, healing as well. And then also, too, we have this been coming out a lot. Pisces, I believe. This is about compassion. This is about the unconscious, you know, um, being aware of what's going on around you as well. And then we have um, Black Moon Lilith. So this is about, you know, um, basically the mystery, you know, it's about um, passion. You know, it's about our dark side, our shadow side that we don't want people to see as well. And then we have um, Neptune Sacrifice. This card represents mystery once again, confusion, enchantment, you know, wandering, um, you know, passiveness, enemies. And then we have the 12th house. So this speaks to solitude. You know, this speaks to exploitation. I mean, exploration. I don't know what exploitation came from, but maybe that's something that you guys are dealing with, uh, Capricorn. So, but let's go ahead and get um, some Moonerology cards on here to clarify. But it looks like you're doing, there's a lot of shadow side going on here. And when I say shadow side, I'm talking about the side that we don't want people to see, to know. You know, um, I get the energy false mask, you know, um, and this could be a part of your daily routine that you do is wear a false mask every day. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify the daily routine for Capricorn. Wow. So clarifying your daily routine, we have a new start is coming, the new moon. We are in the new moon, so therefore you have a new start coming. And then it says your hard work is paying off. Once again, new moon in Capricorn. So definitely changes are happening in regards to your um, in regards to your daily routine. And then it says a time to give rather than take. Look at that. Beautiful. Definitely. Always take the time to give. Tell me more about the Pisces, I believe. Okay. It's time to release negativity. A lot of people have been getting this. Actually, I think all of the signs have gotten this. <laughs> so it's time to, you know, release negativity. So, and that's under the um, Pisces, I believe card. So 
luck. Luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. So, and then look, oh wow, it says nothing will come of this situation. So that could mean something for you. Um, you know, it's letting you know, the spirit is letting you know that you do have a new start coming, but nothing is coming of this situation. And like I said, there's some shadow stuff going on here. And um, maybe you're doing something that, you know, um, you're wearing a false mask or someone you're dealing with is wearing a false mask. You could be dealing with a Pisces, you know, um, so, but nothing is going to come of this situation. Let's see here. Why is Black Moon Lilith here? Why is Black Moon Lilith here? So someone is definitely hiding some things. This could be you, Capricorn, hiding things, dealing with it, your shadow side. Okay, so Black Moon Lilith, and this is in your energy again, Capricorn. So this says uh, um, the, t the end of a tough cycle is approach um, approaches. So like I said, you're in this energy. And this represents, you know, obsessions. It represents the mystery, you know, um... You know, and a tough cycle, you know, a, the end of a tough cycle approaches. So definitely tell me more about this Black Moon Lilith card, please, and thank you. That card failed. <laughs> okay. I'm up again. <laughs> okay, so a win-win um, outcome is in the forecast. So like I said, yes, a tough, a tough cycle is ending. So you have a win-win, um, you know, outcome in your forecast. So definitely. So tell me more about sacrifice, Neptune. And the Neptune card speaks of, you know, self-sacrifice. You know, you're sacrificing yourself for um, things that's not serving your highest good. You know, you're not self, it's not self-love. It's self-sabotage, actually. So tell me more about Neptune's sacrifice. Tell me more about Neptune's sacrifice. Tell me more about Neptune's sacrifice. Clear and concise messages, Spirit, please and thank you. Clear and concise messages, Neptune's sacrifice for Capricorn, please and thank you. Whoa. Okay. So the one that we had officially fall out. <laughs> was a personal issue reaches resolution. So like I said, you know, the Neptune sacrifice card is self-sabotage. And this is in Cancer. So tell me more about the sacrifice Neptune card, please, and thank you. Wow, we have two more that fell out. Okay, adjustments are required. Adjustments are required. And what do you need to release? What do you need to release? Negativity, self-sabotage. Tell me more about the 12th house, escape. Whoa, we got two on that one. Okay. So definitely. So, you know, the 12th house, like I said, speaks to, you know, visions, exploration. You know, but it also speaks to secrets. But, you know, it says, don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past hold you back. This is, um, this is karma. You know, this is like life debts. You know, this is a self note. So therefore, don't let your past hold you back. Forgive yourself. Move on. You know, you can't hold yourself back for whatever you've done. As long as you have learned from it and you won't do it again. <laughs> If it's anything negative, you know, just move on from it. You know, you'd be like, well, that was me then. This is me now. Accept me as I am, you know. And then, look, believe in the impossible, Capricorn. Believe in the impossible. You definitely, yes. And then it says, look, it's time to take action. So it's time to take action. I do want to um, pull just one major arcana. Just for, um, just to get the overall energy of this reading, just one major arcana 
for Capricorn. I didn't do this for the rest of the signs, but it's something just moved me to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. So one major arcana for Capricorn. Some, I think there's secrets here. Okay, so we had two fall out and they fell out in reverse. So definitely we have the emperor here in reverse. So he's someone who's logical, someone who's authority. You know, this is someone who does, who goes against authority, you know, and it shows here in your reading that there's a lot of secrets and a lot of shadow going on here, you know, um, not following the rules, not playing by the rules, you know, um, but then we have the devil in reverse, the devil in the upright is bondage, addiction, depression. So in the reverse, you know, this speaks to someone coming out of this, you know, coming out because you do have a new start here as well, you know, so maybe you need to do um, some spiritual baths, some healing, you know, pray, you know, um, yeah, definitely. And then we have the hangman at the bottom of the deck. So, and that represents searching inward, definitely. So let's get you a universal love card, Capricorn. Let's get one universal love card for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Yes, there's definitely secrets here. And one thing I always say, what's in the dark will always come to light. <laughs> wow, you got two cards. Okay, so you have um, Emergence. And then you have Earth Connection. Wow, let's get you a um, inspirational... Um, words for the day, just one for Capricorn. Oh, you get two again. I guess today is your two for you. So it says, freedom is my divine right. I am free to think wonderful thoughts. I move beyond past limitations into freedom. I am now becoming all that I am created to be. Facts, definitely. Because you can't let your past hold you back. You know, whatever you've been doing, you will have a new start and you will come out of this um, as well. And then the next one, look at this. Look at that. My income is constantly increasing. You got money coming. I began, I, I begin now to open myself to ever increasing prosperity. Facts. Look at that. Beautiful. So, yeah, definitely Capricorn. I would say, you know, do a spiritual bath. We are in the new moon. Set positive intentions. Move to, you know, move towards positivity. You know, get rid of the, the things that no longer serve you. You know, um, your highest good, your highest self. You know, get, get that together. Um, you know, so let's get a question for you. This is an empowering question that you can, you know, um, think about. Write the answer down to you know, yeah, just information. <laughs> so what kinds of situations do I avoid? What does this invasive invasion say about my previous experiences or beliefs? I'll read that again. What kinds of situations do I avoid? What does this invasion say about my previous experience or beliefs. Interesting. So that's a question that you can actually think about. Get the answer to. Write it down. Focus on that. But yeah, um, Capricorn, I do see, you know, a lot of um, secrets. I see um, a lot of um, people Someone is wearing a mask. Someone is not showing the real de uh, who they are. Um, someone is definitely um, in their shadow side. Someone is not loving themselves as well. So there you go, Capricorn. So thank you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.